morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Brown Bag Luncheon Concerts that's sponsored by the Lakeway Arts Committee. We are so glad that you're here today. Wow, we've got a packed room. Almost standing room. Look, we've got people standing in the back. <laughs> well, we're so glad that you're here today. Brown Bag Luncheon Concerts are just one of the things that we uh, sponsor for the City of Lakeway. We also have the Brown, uh, we have the Big Band Bash, and that is this coming Monday night at 8 to 10 p.m. Uh, we have Kent Dugan's 17-piece band. You can put your dancing shoes on and come dance, or just sit and listen to great uh, big band sound. We have many other things coming up in the future, so take a look at some of the sculpture work, some of the Sunday afternoon concerts we have planned, more of the brown bag luncheon concerts, and uh, today we have the brown bag luncheon concert with the Lakeway Wildflowers. This is the first time that the Lakeway Wildflowers have performed for the Brown Bag Luncheon Concert. We are so privileged to have them here today because the female barbershop is gaining notoriety and popularity in the community and in the nation. And uh, this group has improved over the years and I am so pleased to be able to welcome them to the Lakeway stage for your enjoyment. So let's welcome the Lakeway Wildflowers. for you today. Um, as Janet said, we are the Wildflowers, um, a barbershop quartet. So if you didn't realize, there are four parts to barbershop, <coughs> bass, baritone, lead, and tenor. So that's kind of why we opened up with um, Four of a Kind. So we're going to be giving you a plethora of styles today. Our next song, that's why it's called the Bouquet of Barbershop. Huh? Yeah. Um, so our next song is a lullaby called Kentucky Baby.
sung by our first quartet of the evening, or afternoon, sorry, afternoon. Um, it is our late bloomers. They're going to be singing Lollipop. Bum, 
up crazy when he throws a lead. Tell you why? Just like a lightning from the sky. He loves to kiss me till I can't see straight. Gee, my lollipop is great. I love my lollipop, lollipop, oh lolly, 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 lollipop, lollipop, oh lolly, 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 lollipop, lollipop, oh lolly, 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 lollipop. of love when they're 12. <laughs> Our next song talks about love and a slightly mature kind of year.
So this next song is another ballad, um, um, talking about a place that we all love and that we wish we could go back to. This place just happens to be Shenandoah. some of the Southern Gospel, but then Southern Gospel really got a lot of its influence from barbershops, so they share this little bond. So we're going to sing a song, hopefully you know it. Um, it's one of my favorites that I was growing up to, and just riding in a truck listening to this song just brings back so many memories. So um, here it is, Daddy Sang Bass. Yeah. 
So our next quartet is called Floral Notes. I hope you've seen a pattern with their names. It's all like flower oriented. Um, but Floral Notes will be singing Dream. For our next number, we'd like to do a song that was originated by one of our very favorite recording artists, Kermit the Fraud. <laughs> Sleep and have you heard voices? 
This next love song is from a musical as well. You might know um, from Carousel. It is called If I Loved You. And it is just talking about, I'm not going to be the first one to say I love you. You're going to have to say it first. So um, that's kind of where these two characters are at. And so here is If I Loved You. So this next songwriter is one of, um, just probably one of the best songwriters this, this um, generation has ever seen. He wrote so many musicals, so many Tin Pan Alley. He was like the go-to composer, Cole Porter. And this next song, True Love, I can't remember the musical that it was showcased in, um, but all I do remember is just Fred Astaire and him singing this song um, I'm assuming it was with Ginger Rogers, but it, again, it just blows my mind right now. Um, but he's singing true love to um, the person that he loves. And so here is true love.
So again, we're gonna leave love alone for a moment. Um, actually, we're not. One more. One more. Um, but this is, this next song is um, gonna be performed by the late Bloomers. One more time, they're gonna put a little encore for you. Um, they're gonna show you what true love really looks like. It's fun and games, and it's all flowers and daisies at the very beginning. Um, but they will be talking about what true love really looks like as we spend some time with each other. Life is what you make it, or so the poets say. We laugh and cry, we live and learn, we love each wondrous day. If you understand these words are truly from the heart, you'll know This next song is about one of the world's probably most addictive substances, and it's it's something that most of us probably just love to have every morning. Um, we can't live without it. Some of us, aka teachers like myself, have to have a next uh, like another shot of it as we're going through the day, and then another shot of it just to make sure that I make it through the day. Um, but some of us are truly addicted to it. Here is Java Jive.
So, I, if you haven't guessed, I'm probably an old soul. I love the 20s, the 30s, the 40s, all of that. I feel like some of the best music was written back then. I love that sound. And one of the groups that I just remember listening to a whole lot is the Andrews Sisters. And um, so they're going to be singing a, they are going to be singing, I mean, they're going to be singing a song. Boogie, sorry, they're distracting me. Boogie, 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 He was the voice of 